Let's take a look. So this is the base camp that I'm currently using with Sydney. Um, these are, this is like the home screen where you see everything that's going on. So it's all of the milestones that are coming up. That's like a meeting that we have. These are some of the different files and messages that we've been sending back and forth amongst me and members of her team. Everything that we're doing together gets captured on the home screen. So I don't have to look at like a notebook and say, oh, I was working on this and she was working on that. It's all captured here, which is really nice. And this is more detailed. Here's like the to-do list. And Sydney has multiple people that she works with, so it shows for each of the to-dos who's responsible for what, all on one screen. So we know together, since we're working on these big projects, I'm responsible for my piece, I can clearly see it, and I know who's responsible for the other pieces. So there's no mystery about, oh, there's this giant to-do list, no one's assigned to any of these things, when are they gonna get done? So it's really good for collaborating if you're working on a big project with multiple people. As I said, if you're working on your own, you could use this too, um, but it's really effective if you've got a bunch of people or even just one other person that you're working with. It takes the mystery out of things. You can also upload files that you're working on, any file type. You can upload PDFs or images or Word documents, any type of thing that you need to work on or share, you can collaborate on inside of um, Basecamp. It's nice. That way you don't have to send email files back and forth, as I said. Can you do the, the thing like you can on Google where you can Google Docs? Different tool. Okay. You can't do that. You can't edit the document itself together. So this is a different tool. So it's a slightly different purpose. Yes? But you can bring in a document that you've been working on into it and back to the things. Sure. But um, I can't remember, does it allow you to integrate um, dates into your calendar? Can it send in, uh, a date notification to like a due date, let's say, and then will integrate and fly you on your own calendar in another application? Basecamp power users, help me out here. No. On the to-do list, like Josh, can you go back to the to-do list? I'm not sure. Um, so on the to-do list, you can assign a due date to each of those tasks, right. and, it's and there's a calendar time. in this workspace right. that has them all mapped out. So it doesn't, at this point, integrate with your own calendar, but it does post the calendar for you. So right. You can Okay, and thank you for that assist. <laughs> okay, Evernote, this is like a super awesome, super cool brain in your box tool. Who uses Evernote here? Evernote. Only a few of you, oh God. Okay, <laughs> so Evernote is like, if you ever have little scraps of paper around your desk, if you're ever curiously <laughs> writing down notes or post-its or writing things on napkins or envelopes, does this sound familiar? Yeah. I'm just guessing. Um, Evernote helps you do away with all of that because writing down notes is great. Being able to actually find them later is even better, but even better than that is being able to search for them like you would search for anything else on your computer. And Evernote lets you do just that. And Evernote is free, so good. So Evernote is this awesome tool and basically, there's a web version, which is what we'll be looking at. There's also versions for iPhone, Blackberry, Android, Windows, PC, and I think Linux also. Um, basically, whatever you've got, Evernote can go on it. What's awesome about Evernote is however you choose to take notes, whether it's a voice note, or something that you snap with your camera on your phone, or if you type directly into Evernote, or even if you want to tweet a note into Evernote, you can get your stuff in there. Once it's in there, it's basically a database. They hide that fact. But essentially, it's a big database <coughs> of all different types of data that you can then sort, search, and find later. Some different ways to use this. You can set up what's called an Evernote notebook, which is essentially a, a topic or a project folder. And inside of there, you could set up one for each of your clients. And you could collect whatever you're working on for those clients. Maybe you're clipping things from the internet, or maybe you're just writing some different <coughs> ideas down. You could collect those all in a folder, either for your own reference later, or you can share that folder with the client. So as you're adding things in there, they'll see it inside of their Evernote. You could also, if you're, um, this is awesome. If you go to a meeting and you have a camera phone and you don't want to write down everything that's on the whiteboard, mm -hmm. you can snap a picture with your camera phone, send it to Evernote. It recognizes the text in the snapshot, oh and then you can search for that text later. Oh, How wow. cool is that? Cool. Love it. Very cool. If you um, lose receipts, but you still want to keep track of them, you could snap a picture with your camera phone of the receipt, 
and have it go into Evernote, and then you can find it again later. So there's a million and one different ways to use this tool. If you ever go to the Evernote website and go on their blog, people have thought of like the most insane uses for this thing, but it is super, super cool and free. They do have a paid version, which is $50 a year. So um, if you're a note taker, then you would snap a shot of it with your camera? If you're a note taker, you could do that. Uh -huh. One of the ways that I've used this with clients is if they're really used to doing things on post-it notes, but they want to break that habit, mm -hmm. we wean them off of it by letting them continue to write on post-it notes, snapping it with their camera, and then we toss the notes when they're no longer useful. That way the note is still inside of their Evernote if they ever want to look for it later. And Evernote recognizes handwriting. Wow. And it does a pretty good job of it too, I might add. Um, so the data is still there. And what we want is to capture the data, not the piece of paper. So Evernote is awesome. Awesome for them. So free version, $50 a year gets you more storage. And it also, when you send an image to Evernote, if you're on the free version, it takes a while. If you do the paid version, it's like instant. It also lets you synchronize other types of files into Evernote. Yes? <coughs> what, for, I've looked at many to-do lists applications, and one of the things that very few of them do is sub-lists. So I start a rough list of big tasks to do, and then I go into one and list that out. Does Evernote do that? You can do it, yes, sort of. It's not solely a to-do manager, although you can use it that way. You can set up a notebook for to-dos, and then you can sort it in different ways. You can have each note be a to-do, and then you can alphabetize it, you could put a dash in front of it to have it sort differently. It's not as full-featured as a separate task manager program or tool, but many of my clients use it to capture all of their tasks. Yes? A couple of years ago, I used Goldmine, and I wondered if that's something you still use or recommend. Goldmine was in vogue a few years ago. I haven't heard anyone use it recently, but that doesn't mean it's still not a valid tool. Um, one of the big competitors to Evernote is Microsoft's OneNote, um, and that comes with a lot of the more full-featured Office suites. Um, but to me, OneNote holds no candle at all to Evernote because of one major feature. When you enter something in Evernote, if you enter something on your computer, it automatically synchronizes to whatever other device you're using it on. So let's say you're on your iPhone, and you're looking up something in your Evernote and you make a change, it'll automatically show up on the web version and on your desktop version later. OneNote doesn't do that, and I don't think Goldman does that either. So this is a really awesome tool. Yes? Is this what you can use to track bookmarks? No, but we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so this is the Evernote web version, which is the cross-platform, use it wherever you happen to be version. These are a bunch of different notes. You can see there's pictures here, because Evernote lets you, with one click, capture an entire web page inside of Evernote so that you can search it later. All my different notebooks, all the different things I have going on, it's cool. This is the free version, so you see a little ad here in the corner. This is what it looks like on the Windows version. So you see the interface is slightly different. Um, but the point is, the data is exactly the same in both places. Automatically synchronized, so I don't have to do anything. So the Windows version is grabbing from the web. So your data lives on the web, as with all of these tools. 